subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about some commonly asked questions in PEGA Certified Decisioning Consultant. So let's get started. Question number 1. U Plus Bank offers two credit cards to its customers, the cold card and the silver card. The bank wants the annual fee property of the credit cards to be dynamic based on the customer lifetime value property. That is, customers with customer lifetime value greater than 65 receive a discount of 20% on the annual fee. As a strategy designer, how do you implement this requirement in the decision strategy? Your options are A. By using the win rule to set the annual fee. B. By using the win rule to set the customer value. C. By using the if function to set the customer value. D. By using the if function to set the annual fee. The correct answer is, option C. Question number 2. U Plus Bank offers two credit cards to its customers, the cold card and the silver card. The bank wants the annual fee property of the credit cards to be dynamic based on the customer lifetime value property. That is, customers with customer lifetime value greater than 65 receive a discount of 20% on the annual fee. As a strategy designer, which component do you use to implement this requirement? Your options are A. Set property B. Filter C. Group by D. Switch the correct answer is, option B. Question number 3, selection components provide the ability to dash. Your options are. A. Import results from other strategies. B. Make calculations based upon a list of propositions. C. Filter propositions based on priority and relevance. D. Choose between a sales and a service proposition. The correct answer is, option C. Question number 4. After launching a new product, the Delta Mode and Visual Business Director could show Dash. Your options are A. The volume of the existing products. B. The date when the product was introduced. C. The volume difference between the new product and existing products. D. A green shape for the product added. The correct answer is, option C. Question number 5. One of the purposes of the interaction history decision component is to dash. Your options are A. Capture all interactions with the customer. B. Verify if a customer is eligible for an offer. C. Retrieve all proposition properties. D. Determine if a proposition has been offered before. The correct answer is, option A. Question number 6. When a customer is offered a proposition he is already accepted, this is because dash. Your options are A. The propositions are filtered based on eligibility. B. There is no filter for previously accepted offers in the strategy. C. The customer intent was captured incorrectly. D. The strategy uses interaction history to exclude previously accepted files. The correct answer is, option A. Question number 7. In a decision strategy, to remove propositions based on the current month, you use a dash. Your options are A. Calendar component B. Filter component C. Date strategy property D. Calendar strategy property The correct answer is, option A. Question number 8. What does a solid arrow from a set property component to a filter component mean? Your options are a. There is a one-to-one -one relationship between a set property and a filter component. B. A property from the set property component is referenced by the filter component. C. To evaluate the set property component, the filter component is evaluated first. D. Information from the set property component is copied over to the filter component. The correct answer is, option B. Question number 9. In a decision strategy, in order to select the proposition with the highest propensity, you use a dash. Your options are A. Switch component, and sort propensity from highest to lowest. B. Prioritize component, and sort propensity from lowest to highest. C. Prioritize component, and sort propensity from highest to lowest. D. Switch component, 
and sort propensity from lowest to highest? The correct answer is, option C. Question number 10. To run a Delta report in the Visual Business Director, a minimum of 2 dash are required. Your options are A. Data sources B. Input definitions C. Propositions D. Strategies The correct answer is, option A. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.